Hey guys, welcome to the third video of a four-part series that follows this video and seeks to give you guys some more subject-specific A-level advice. Today, we're going to be tackling A-level computer science. I have five tips for the theory-based element of the course and then three tips for your coursework or NEA. For reference, I took the OCR A-level computer science exam in the summer of 2023 and I achieved an A-star. I also took A-levels maths, further maths and physics and I achieved A-stars in all three of those as well. So after you've watched this video, make sure to go and check those ones out as well. But other than that, let's get going. My first tip is always the one that I think is the most important, and for computer science, that would be to focus on memorization. I definitely feel like the A-levels are one big memory game. I think they're testing whether you can remember this high volume of content and be able to regurgitate it. And so unfortunately, if you want to do well, you're going to have to play their game. Aside from remembering the actual course content itself, there are two other things I think you should look at memorising to try and boost yourself into the top grade boundaries. The first thing is that between both the papers, there are various long response essay style questions that are typically between 9 and 12 marks. And these marks do add up very quickly. And the catch here is that there's only really finitely many topics that they can ask you about. To start with, the ethics questions come from a predetermined list of topics, and so you should definitely be looking at those, mind mapping, practicing essays, trying to remember them. In terms of the non-ethics based questions, there are again a very limited amount of things they can milk 12 marks out of. Some big ones are storage or big O complexity, but if you think about it, they're not going to ask you a 9 marker about Boolean algebra, and so you should be able to practice quite a lot of essays by making reasonable deductions about what topics they can actually ask you long response questions on. The second point I wanted to make about memorization is that in computer science, because it's based so much on recall, quite frequently you'll see a question in an exam that has appeared in the same or in a similar form in a previous exam. And so when you're going through and you're doing a past paper and you're marking it, really try and be present when you're looking at the questions that you've got wrong and try and remember what the actual correct answer is, because there is actually quite a high likelihood that the question might come up again in your final exam. My second tip is that you should always learn all the algorithms and pseudocodes that you've been given. These are things like manipulating linked lists, queues, stacks, learning all the searching and sorting algorithms, being able to traverse binary trees and graphs. All of these things you were probably shown the code for throughout your course and you thought, okay, cool, but you do actually need to be able to write all this code for the exam. And because there's so much of it, you should definitely start memorizing as soon as possible. And normally the easier ones like bubble sort or binary search come up, but it can't be guaranteed. And these questions can be seven or nine marks in the exam. And considering the computer science grade boundaries are so high, you don't want to be throwing those marks away. You should be in the position where that question comes up. It's a three minute job and you've bagged nine marks, ready to go on to the next question. My third tip is to work on your computer science exam strategy. The A-level computer science exams are two and a half hours long each, and that is a very long time for your brain to be working at 100%. And so to prepare yourself for this, I would say when you're doing past papers, try and allocate yourself the full two and a half hour slot to just sit down and do the paper start to finish. And then when you've done that, I would also try and actively put into your revision schedule the two and a half hour durations to sit down and do two and a half hours of hard computer science revision in order to try and build up your stamina. The other thing that I think is tricky about a longer paper is that it's much easier to let the time get away from you and so I think you need to be particularly regimented about moving on from a question when it's taking too much time to make sure that you are covering the whole paper. The final thing in terms of stamina is of course the longer the paper the more energy you're going to need and so I think it's most important for computer science that you sleep and eat well beforehand to try and stop yourself from dropping off near the end. My fourth tip would be to practice focused programming. I often have people express to me that they're concerned about A-level computer science because they didn't do that much coding at GCSE and they don't think they'll be able to cope. And the first thing I would say is that literally everyone says this to me and so absolutely no one at A-level has any idea really how to code, including myself. So I definitely wouldn't worry and I definitely wouldn't expect A-level computer science to be Python 2.0 because I actually don't think it builds that much on what you've done at GCSE. The thing that I would say is that at A-level you explore something called OOP or Object Oriented Programming and so if you want to do some programming preparation I would definitely look at beginner courses on that because it's something that's a bit more abstract and is actually very different from the way that you've coded before. The other things that come up at A-level are HTML, JavaScript and CSS and so again instead of Python if you want to do some programming prep it's probably better investing your time into those things because they're new. My fifth and final theory tip is to keep on top of content. 
And this essentially is just a strategy that I think works best for memorization. I think firstly, you should always be taking notes in class. These don't have to be beautiful or detailed. Concise ones will work fine, but most importantly, you're more likely to remember when you're hearing something and writing it down compared to when you're just listening. Now, even though I'm a bit of a flashcard hater, as we all know, I think that they are the best tool to use in terms of your A-level computer science revision. I often hear the strategy often but little thrown around, and I think that's one that definitely works the best. I think the way to go forward is to just make hundreds of flashcards and every day try and brute force a couple more little nuggets of computer science into your mind until you've got them all in there. Now, even though I think the actual process of making flashcards can be beneficial, I personally used a website from Craig and Dave called Smart Revise, and you do have to pay for it, but I think if you want to save your time, it definitely is worth the investment. They essentially just make all the flashcards for you. This isn't sponsored, but that's something that I use, and it's a tool that I think really changed the way that I revise for computer science. In terms of coursework, my first tip is to keep it simple. I think people often forget that there are no marks awarded for the complexity of your program and so by making something really advanced you're only making the process harder for yourself. If you already have an idea of what kind of thing you want to do, I would definitely look at the assessment objectives, try and match up your plan and then get rid of anything that's not necessary. For every little complex bit that you add in, you're not just adding in 20 lines of code, you're adding in extra documentation, evaluation, another design mock-up, more data needs to be collected from your stockholders, everything becomes a lot more effort. And so I think that the easiest thing to do is to keep it as simple as possible. The other thing I would quickly say is that I feel like a lot of people resort to making a game for their coursework because they think it's gonna be the most fun. But unless you have previous experience in making them, they're really hard and really long to make. And so I would definitely stay away from them because at the end of the day, your coursework is never gonna be fun. So there's not really any point doing a game because you want to enjoy it because you're not gonna enjoy the extra hundreds of hours of documentation. My second coursework tip is to step away from the programming. I think for a programming project, it's very reasonable that you would expect there to be a high emphasis on the code, but actually almost all of your marks are going to come from your documentation, and so that's where your focus should be. You should be spending a very small percentage of your time doing the programming itself. At the end of the day, it's actually much better to submit an unfinished, full of errors bit of code that has loads of documentation to explain what's going wrong and what you might do to fix it in the future, rather than a fully completed, perfect bit of code that has no documentation, because in the second example, they have nothing to mark you on. And so if it comes to the point where you have to choose between actually coding and fixing your code or writing up some documentation, always pick the second one. My third coursework tip is a bit of a sad one, and it is that the coursework is very underweighted and you're gonna put a lot of time and effort into it. And even if you come out with full marks, which you probably won't, it's only gonna to count towards 20% of your final exam grade. And even more unfortunately, the grade boundaries in computer science are really high. And so if you don't do well in your coursework, you're gonna cap yourself at a B or a C grade. And so it's really important that even though it might feel like you're getting mugged off, you stick with the coursework and you see it through to the end, because otherwise you're not gonna be able to achieve the top grade boundaries. Okay guys, that's all I have to say to you today. As always, if you have any questions, you can email or message me on Instagram. But other than that, very best of luck for your computer science revision. Keep your eyes peeled on the Yamran channel. There's going to be more vlogs, revision, uni stuff. So I'll see you guys soon. Bye.